Right, let's have a look at the classification uh, for cattle based on the Europe grid. And when we're assessing for confirmation, we look at a beast and we look at three key areas. One is the round, the other is the loin, and the other is the shoulder. Uh, and we look at a beast uh, from behind where the tail hangs, looking how much flesh development is there. And if it's perfectly rounded, uh, it's an E for confirmation. If it's not quite as round, it's a U. If it's straight and blocky, it falls in the R for confirmation. And once it starts to become concave, sinks in, it's an O or a P. We then assess the loin, looking at the depth of flesh uh, here on the loin where the spinous and transverse processes are. And we're handling that loin to see how much depth of flesh uh, is actually there. And also to assess, to be honest, the tips of the transverse processes for the fat. And then we look at the shoulder and we look across the shoulder from this side to the other to see how much development is on that shoulder, whether or not it's perfectly flat and it falls in an E or a U for confirmation, it's average at an R or it's quite sharp in the middle and it falls down to an O or in severe cases, a P. But it's important that we look at these three key areas because it's two out of three that make up the confirmation.